Hey, good fucks here. Today we got an auction house type of video, uh, how to make stubs, kind of going over the market. I don't know what to call this video series yet in MLB The Show, because um, we had the Market Mondays for Mutt, but, you know, kind of x 915 that was his thing. I'm thinking about rebranding it, so we'll, we'll figure out what to do with MLB The Show, and, and that'll be down the road. But let's get into it today. We got a lot to get through. So I I, I want to lead off this almost every single week. I might I think I might lead off with this. Always be patient. I see too many people making the mistake of buying from the buy now column. That's 12,000 stubs different between, look, look, look at this Lenny Dykstra. 12,000 stubs. That's an enormous amount. You don't need it right now. Be patient. People Let people sell to you. So maybe by me telling everybody this, people stop doing it, but that's not going to happen. People still sell to the sell now. And it do, you don't have to wait that long. Just look on the Show Nation. I would show off the Show Nation now, but it's been busy and down all night. Uh, I'll do a whole another video on the Show Nation maybe next week or a couple weeks when it's back up and working. I know a lot of people are having issues with the Show Nation. Sometimes the ShowNation.com is, is where you can access this market online. Um, and, and some people are having some issues that, that I haven't heard as much lately that people are losing their orders or they're, they're not getting their cards or stubs correctly. If that's the case, if that's happened to you, contact Sony San Diego. Uh, talk to, go to their website, contact their uh, uh, email account, although I heard that people are getting email bounce backs now. So just annoying them on Twitter. Uh, make sure you get your stuff. Do not get ripped off because these stubs are, are real things that, you know, this is our entire economy here that we got. It's like your in-game currency. You relate it to real-life money. So, Lenny Dykstra himself specifically, so the cumulative wins started counting for the events, which is very nice. Um, so as you'll see, uh, just a couple days ago, he wasn't available, even though he should have been. Now he is. This price is going to keep going down as the event goes on. So the event that I'm talking about, these things change in game. Um, let me go to the here you go online events. So this is, I got disconnected. I got a loss disconnect. Uh, so I'm still having issues with connections to Diamond Dynasty and games. It's 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 sunk me quite a few games. I've lost quite a few games getting disconnected, unfortunately. So the event info here, event rewards. We'll go to the info. This isn't really an event video. I should do event videos um, when they pop up. So each couple weeks here, this one went on for. Sometimes I do it for a week. Uh, but starts March 27th, ends April 10th. So it's April 2nd when you're seeing this. Wait a week to buy this card. Wait, wait until near the end of this event. Then buy the Dykstra if you want them. The card himself is okay. He's got decent, like, look at the 90 overall Dykstra I just looked at. Um, and then you get the wins per, uh, and you get, these are free entries, so they're repeatable. Um, 12 uh, wins per entry. So it's it's basically just a grind. You don't even have to be the best player. If you can win, like, 40% of your games, you can get to this Dykstra with, with enough uh, games played. Play about, like, 60 games. I mean, they're, they're only three inning games, so they're not terrible. Um, all right, next, uh, uh, well, let's go back to that uh, marketplace with the MLB cards. We'll take a look at the Dykstra. Um, this is something I'm going to do in other videos down the road, maybe an event video once a week uh, or two weeks whenever they pop up. So the 71 power versus ready. I think power is is so important. As we can see, here's here's a good way of seeing what, so the, what the market values. And the market itself is pretty smart. Um, so let's go to sponsorships. No, not, sorry, S equipment. There you are. So... How do we see what the market values in this game? Um, let's go to bats. I'm hitting the wrong button. Why am I doing that? Okay, so look at these look at these stats on these diamond bats. So this diamond bat has four power and ten contact. So you're like, okay, fourteen thousand coins that, or stubs. That's quite a bit. But then then you look at the ten power four contact. It's almost twice the price. We're looking at the sell now column. So you can tell that the market values this power tremendously, and that's what people are searching for for the creative players. So you can tell by this 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 item, this diamond item that drops at the same rarity, or at least what I assume the same rarity as this diamond item, four power, ten contact versus ten power, four contact. The market values it that much more that it's double the price. And I would agree with them. I think power is so essential to this game this year. They said they balance contact hitters, but I don't see it. You'll see a review of um, I think my Lou Brock card, and you'll see see it in action and see my feelings on that more. So it's a good way of seeing what the market values. Like, the market doesn't really care about um, if we go to, let's go to some of these rituals. It's it's very evident with ritual what they care about. So this one's hits per nine and durability. I don't think many players are doing pitchers uh, for their for their caps, so maybe that's kind of discounted here. But, but what you can see, the ones that are valued the most, contact versus power. So power plus six is, what, two to three times as much, two and a half times as much. So interesting. 
And this one's like the fielding one. This is even worse than the contact, even though this gives so many more stats for fielding. This gives a ton more stat, but people care more about hitting than fielding, obviously. And then speed, if we want to look at uh, look at how, uh, I think, let's go to cleats. How much people value speed on here? Plus 14 speed is 36,000 stubs. And this is plus 12 is only 20,000. I mean, it's it's a huge premium to get to that tippity top of the mountain, that plus one, plus two. People are really going to play out the nose for it. Plus, obviously, this one has a little bit better stealing uh, versus hits per nine. So this one's a little bit better. Uh, anyways, so that's kind of a, just a kind of a, a ramble. So you can, you can make judgments about the market and what kind of this game values. So speed and power is what this game is looking forward too so but overall i want to talk about let's talk about the market itself it does feel like the cards are they, they are going down in in price the, the mike trout has gone down quite a bit the joe morgan's gone down vita blue all these cards are going falling in price and there's a there's a couple reasons for that um basically the my career missions are not handing out stubs as easy this year through a lot of in-game achievements um a lot of stubs are, are, are kind of funneled to the equipment or to the spot the souvenir program and we'll talk about the souvenir program in a little bit um so so it does feel like the, the top end cards they will continue to fall as the season goes along it's not gonna be like 17 it's gonna be more like 16 where the cards just generally decrease through the season whereas like in 17 we had those team epics that you had to lock these cards into to get even the better cards and and, and about I, and about the epics, you know, let's go to programs here. And about these epics versus immortals, which one do you guys like better? Do you guys like the team epics of last year versus like the collector reward of this of Vlad Guerrero for collecting all the cards? I did the, I did the fifteen cards one because they were already in my binder, um, just to get some extra uh, XP and stuff. But do you guys like it that that get the these top end cards, the Tulo, the Beltre? the uh, bagwell and then then vlad for doing all the collections or do you guys like the team epics a little bit better uh where you collect it for each team and you got an epic card for them instead of uh this year and then this year we have the immortals like which which year do you like better i i kind of like the immortals better but i can see the appeal of 17 with the team epics because those players weren't overpowered like they were just very good players and it offered more of a a different team for each each guy that you went against online although some Obviously, there's always these cars that are just underpriced and overperforming, so you see those on a lot of teams, but it felt, felt like there was a lot more variety last year, and so, like, end game, we might just see a lot of guys with, uh, like, a couple of mortals and, and a few other, like, top-end cards, so we'll see how that plays out near the end, and if we get sick of these immortals and seeing them every game, although I doubt them, these will only be completed through many of the players. Um, maybe we'll do a video on my my uh, updating my uh, the grind through these players and... Uh, the career arcs. Career arc Williams is almost done. Just got to get a couple more hits and RBIs in the same game. So the Williams is close. Utley, I'm grinding. I, I still got to do all of the second baseman and, and the position exchanges. Otherwise, I'm grinding through the jersey and hat exchanges. Those are just a pain in the ass. Um, so we're talking about the equipment and souvenirs. I mentioned uh, in my video before the season, SDS, Sony San Diego, made the same mistake EA made when they put these souvenirs in the game. When these made them so important into the game, uh, basically, they went heavy on these items into packs. Um, it seems it, it feels like they didn't have the pulse on other sports games. Like I saw this a mile away. Like I, I knew how much us as as people hate these souvenirs that are non-usable in game. It's just like these fluff for packs. It, it's it's just an, an insult. But the thing is, like, um, and the community being in flames to talk about these souvenir requirements, it, it's something SDS could have totally avoided. They they what they wanted to do, and I can I can I can see where this is kind of like a a good idea gone wrong and it, it's it's it is what it is all right so what i want to do i'll just buy others buy a pack to show you what they want to do with these uh packs they want to give you value in your packs they want to give you value to those two items so what they do is you put them into sets so when you open these packs uh we'll open it you, you when you pull all these crap players because they might mostly give you crap players uh, but when you pull these items, there actually is a value there. They're not just going to go from one to two stubs because they're not usable anywhere. So they got to put them in sets and stuff. So so they want to put, uh, and this is just a regular pack. Like this is just trash, you know, all commons and and uh, and bronzes. So these pa these right here, like if you pull a jersey, whoops, if you pull a jersey out of these two, you did a great job. You, did, you know, that pack paid for itself. You pull like a Boston jersey, or whatever. Uh, so the, it adds value to packs. And and some people have talked about these. No, get out of here. Um, so, so some people have talked about these uh, 
souvenirs as uh, coin sinks. These are not coin sinks. Yeah, they're coin sinks out of your binder, but they're going to somebody else. So the, the coin sink here is the market tax. So yes, they're kind of coin sinks that you have to buy for something or buy something. Uh, but but like all these these Red Sox hat home that you need so many of them, these jerseys that you need so many of them for their programs, these are not coin sinks. They're item sinks. So it, it's two different types of sinks in the game because they, they spin out items and players, so they need to sink them somewhere or else they'll just be worthless. So these are the sinks for those. Uh, coin sinks are like market tax. Um, what else would be a coin sink? There's no contracts in this game, so that's lucky. Uh, stub sinks. I, I guess the market tax is the big one. Um, and then obviously packs. Packs are a big coin sink or stub sink because uh, they don't really return that much of value. As you just saw, I got like a couple hundred uh, stubs worth of value out of a thousand stub pack. So, anyways, um, moving on. I think that actually might be most of the points I wanted to hit this game. I just wanted I just wanted to do one more quick tip for this video. Um, and I hope it's not going on too long. Let me take a look. I always had these go on too long. Yeah, it's over 10 minutes. I, I, I think people will kind of only stay for around 10 minutes on YouTube. So uh, one more other quick thing. I think Cardinal Bird, I, I saw this on the, he put out a video showing this this tip. And, and somebody on the, put it on the subreddit where I saw it. Um, that I ended up watching his video too. And it's a good tip. So basically, if you're going through some of these, uh, I'm trying to think, what was it? Mm, let me go to, let me go to one of these ones that I haven't fi finished out. I think I haven't done Hoffman yet. So if you go to like a, the hat exchange for Hoffman and then like say, say you want to like, oh, I, I kind of want to look up uh, San Diego hats. So what you do is just go to the quick menu. Whoops, wrong button. Quick menu. Click the wrong one. Go to the community market. Go to the souvenirs. Go to the hats uh, for San Diego. San Diego Pirates. And remember, these are these are organized by league and then division, so it's hard. So then you go ahead and uh, put you, you can purchase your hat or whatever. Generally, I, I don't think it's a great idea to purchase your hat straight off. Like like I said at the beginning, it's a terrible idea to buy from the buy now column. Uh, so Padres hat home. Let's go ahead and put in a bid in at ninety three. So then if you if you buy something off the market, um, you, if you keep hitting back, if you keep hitting back, you'll go back to your uh, page. So. Obviously, Madden, Madden found a way to program in the ability to hit A here and then go to the market. Uh, Sony San Diego needs to put that in the game. But that's kind of like a quick little tip to get there and then back to a set pretty quickly. All right. So that's it for this auction house uh, MLB The Show video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.